I'm with Ronnie, the Rocket O'Sullivan. I watched the documentary today, and wow, particularly the end when you're mic'd up, your dad's in the crowd, your, your, yeah. your children are there, and you start crying when you win the seventh world championship. Yeah. What, what was that like? Because I, I, was, I was completely lost in tears. Yeah, I just think it was just like a, a relief in many ways, you know, just to sort of like, you know, just to come through the semi final against Higgins, who's a probably my biggest rival in snooker and then to play Judd who is probably going to be the best player in the world for quite a few years to come it was a massive task you know and one I didn't think I would get through so to get through it um, and then obviously have my kids and my family there it was just, it was just a whole lot of emotion just that was it, you know, I thought I'd climb that mountain and gone even higher than I thought I could possibly go, you know. I could really feel it with, the, with those tears. This documentary is produced by De David Beckham. It follows his documentary. What made you want to do this documentary? Um, I've been asked for years to do a documentary and I always sort of just didn't feel right because we didn't even have the right person or people to do it. And then my agent... Uh, Ross said, look, you know, we've got this team here that's going to be, they're going to do a brilliant job. So I went, fine, because I didn't want to do a documentary and think I've got to be worried about this and that. So I said, look, you've got complete access. You don't have to ask me, can we film this and that? If I'm not comfortable with something, I'll tell you. So that's the rules. So we started off on that foot. And then after a while, the trust that I had between me and Sam and, the, and, the, and, the, and, and everyone that was doing it, so basically they, they caught everything, you know, there wasn't anything that they wasn't able to film, you know. And you've got the coolest friends, Ronnie Wood who's over there, who's... <laughs> <laughs> Damien Hurst. <laughs> well, what's it like having... having, having... Well, we're artists, and he's an artist, isn't he, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. What's it like having him as a friend? <laughs> Ronnie? Yeah. Oh, we've had some amazing times. You know, we played a lot of snooker. We were on a bit of music. We've had, we, had, we had some great times. Jimmy, you know, uh, Keith. Yeah, I mean, he's a superstar, you know what I mean? He's when he's like, in the room, I can't miss a ball. When he leaves the room, I can't hit a ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He's been to a lot of the, a lot of the big matches, Ali Pali, World Championships. Ronnie's a proper snooker fan. Yeah, there's nothing like it. You lose track of time and you just get totally absorbed. Yeah. Totally absorbed. <laughs> in support of my old mate. It's the two Ronnies. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I, what, what's so amazing about the documentary is your love-hate relationship with the sport. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you've been through so much. I mean, what, what, what do you feel about sneakers? Do you, do you love it or hate it? It's tough. It's a tough sport. I have a, I have a tough relationship with it. It's a great game, but sometimes my relationship with it isn't that healthy. You know, I put, I put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm very hard on myself. I don't give myself uh, an ounce of room for mediocrity. So I always say, you know, the margins are very fine for me, you know, so... I have to be on top form all the time, so it's sort of like it's a hard thing to keep doing, producing match after match, uh, year after year. Um, but I think I'm learning to sort of be a little bit more easy with myself and just allowing myself to just play and enjoy it a lot more now than I ever have done. You know? If you think about it, your story's incredible. At 19, both your parents were in prison yeah. and you had to like look after Hello. the family, your sister, yourself. What was the secret of overcoming that and being comfortable with this? Um, I think, it obviously, like, that was a tough period and it lasted for about six years, you know, and it wasn't until I'd come out the other end of it and got myself on the straight and narrow that I started to sort of get, get to grips with stuff, really. Um, but, yeah, you know, it was, um, yeah, it was quite, quite tough, really, you know. My, yeah, you know, it was a tough thing for the family, you know, like, mum, mum away, dad away. You think, like, what's going on here? You know, this, this isn't supposed to happen, you know, but... Um, that was life, you know, and I, like, I, I was, I, I felt responsible for both my parents at some stage, you know, just to sort of be someone that I wasn't meant to be. I was meant to be my mum's son, my dad's son, but I became the man of the house at a young age and, you know. We're almost out of time. It's incredible yeah. how far you've got, but you've won the seventh world championship. Yeah. Will you win an eighth? I don't want to say I'm not going to win an eighth because I didn't think I'd win a fourth, you know. In 2012, I thought it was done. So I've managed to go on and do, win a few more, but... Uh, as you get older, it gets a bit tougher. That's all I can say. Superb. Thank you very much. The documentary is yet out on Thursday. Thank you very much, Ronnie. No worries. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, lovely stuff. Thanks very much indeed, Rags.